This book is called The Five Senses, Taste. This is by Maria Ruiz, J.M. Paramon, and J.J. Puig. This tastes good to me, but this tastes terrible. Pastries taste good to me. So does chocolate. Oranges are delicious. And milk is yummy. Honey is very sweet. But lemons are very sour. Seawater is salty. Garlic and onions have a strong taste. But what does water taste like? Like nothing at all. And what does meat taste like? Like meat, of course. The way you tell how something's ta something tastes is with your tongue. Taste. Your tongue carries messages about what you eat to your brain. Your whole tongue is covered with little bumps called taste buds. There are different taste buds for each of four different types of tastes. That's right. Your tongue can really only taste four different flavors. The front of your tongue is for sweet tastes like sugar. The sides of your tongue taste sour tastes like lemon or vinegar. The back of your tongue tastes bitter things like grapefruit peel. You can taste salty things all over your tongue. The little nerve endings inside each taste bud carry the message to your brain and tell it what kind of thing you are eating. You can try all these different tastes on the different parts of your tongue and see what happens. The saliva in your mouth helps you taste things too. Your saliva mixes with the food you eat and carries the flavors to all the parts of your tongue. Food also tastes better if it isn't too hot or too cold. But your tongue isn't the only part of tasting. Smelling is a very important part of tasting too. Think about how things taste when you have a cold. When your nose is all stuffed up, you can hardly taste anything at all. If you close your eyes and hold your nose, you won't be able to tell the difference between a piece of pear and a piece of a potato. But you might wish that you could only taste sweet things, but it's good to be able to taste everything. That way, if something doesn't taste too good, your brain can decide whether or not it's a good idea for you to keep on eating it. And that's the end of The Five Senses taste.